All right, so we've got another D22 video today. Um, we all know that the D22s weren't exactly uh, the most luxurious cars, um, and that uh, common issue is that they didn't even come with rear speakers. So that's what we're going to be fixing today. We're going to be putting in some rear speakers in the back here. Um, I went and bought four new speakers um, from Super Cheap Auto, some Kenwoods, and I'm going to replace all four speakers, put two new ones in the front, and then wire up some for the back doors. The back doors come with this trim, but um, there's actually no speakers behind them, so we're going to fix that. So we're going to start with the front door. Um, this is a trim removal tool, but you could probably get away with just using a screwdriver. Uh, most of the trim in the Navara is just held on by um, like a, a push style clip so you can just pull back from um, between the door and the, the um, door trim and it'll pop off. There's not really anything else holding it on. Um, and all I'm doing here is just working my way around the door trim using that separator tool to pop the plastic away from the metal. Um, and you can sort of find where the clips are either by pulling the plastic back and looking or you can just feel where they're sort of held on. If you can slip your finger between the trim and the metal, you'll feel where the uh, resistance is and where the plastic doesn't want to flex. And you just want to get your tool as close to that point as you can so that you're not going to snap any plastic. Now we're taking off the window switches. Um, again, it just pops off. There's no screws holding it in. And now we're going to remove the harness to it. Um, these plugs are always pretty tricky, you've got to push down and pull back um, and as you can see I just sort of popped it off. You want to feed your wires through the door trim. Um, there are a couple screws that hold uh, the door trim between a piece of plastic and the door um, frame so you'll just have to work your way around finding those. Alright, so now that the door trim's off, we can go ahead and take the speaker out. Uh, these are actually aftermarket two-way speakers that were already in the car, um, but I'm going to change those over anyway. So we're just going to cut him out, uh, trim those wires, um, and then strip them back so that they can have some new connections put on them. I'm um, just using a regular wire stripper there. And these are the two speaker wires going into the old speaker wires. And I'm using some heat shrink tubes with solder and water seals in them. They're really easy to use. You just put them on, get a lighter. This is a little jet torch, but a, a regular lighter would work. And then you place the solder on where both the wires are stripped to. And you just melt it into them. It's really easy. So now that those cables are soldered on, we've got the new speaker going in. Uh, just straight onto the old speaker spacer that was on the front doors and you just screw them in into the old holes. This is really simple, you know, it, was, it wasn't really an install, it was more so just a replacement, so everything that you needed was already there. And now the door card's back on, I just pulled those window motor cables through, and now we're plugging them back in, and that just clips in, there's no screws. So after that, you're pretty well done. You know, the door trim's all put in, all the screws are back where they came from. Uh, now we're gonna move on to the stereo for the wires to go back to the passenger doors. So I'm just going to pull off that surround. You pull out the ashtrays down bottom or the, or the coin holders and it just unclips. You just give it a, a good pull. Um, I have some aftermarket light switches, um, so just ignore those. Um, just going to unclip the uh, demister for the rear window and the hazard lights. So now I've got the dash out, got the radio ready to put some wires in. We're going to run cable down from the radio down there. And we're going to go under the carpet. And then I'm going to go from this pillar all the way along this edge of the carpet, back to this pillar, up the pillar, through the door. And we'll come through the door with this wire through these two grommets. And we'll pull this door card off and put the speaker in. Now we're ready to put the speaker in. 
I found um, if you mount it here, you can get three of the four bolts in and it holds pretty strong. Um, there's not really anywhere else where you can put it in this door because your ashtray goes here. Your speaker grill is about here, but you've got this window slider right behind it where you can't, you can't obviously fit a speaker there. So I moved it off to the side and sort of half in the grill. Um, and it's, you know, it's better than not having a speaker there at all, but they haven't really left us with much option in these Navaras. So I bought these Kenwood uh, two-way speakers. They're nothing too fancy. I think they're uh, um, about 50 bucks for two of them from super cheap. So it only cost me a hundred bucks to do all the speakers in this car. Um, there are RMS 30 and a Pika 300 watt. The head unit in my car is a aftermarket Alpine one that has a output of 50 by four. So it should be able to power each of them. From what I can tell, I'm not really a big audio guy, but it sounds like it'll work. Um, so I've got my wire here. Nothing fancy, just normal wire. It's not even speaker wire. Um, it's just your red and black in a outside insulation. So double insulated, hopefully keep it safe. Um, it's only going under the carpet, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, and we're just gonna feed it through. I'm gonna try and show this as best as I can without getting in the way of the camera. You wanna reach up and find where the carpet's pinned in and just pull. Pull back on it and the little um, carpet clip will pop off. I'm just going to roll this stuff down so you can pull your wire over and in. And you got this trim here that you want to pull off and this one too. So you got your accelerator there. This is the trim piece here. There's a screw down here that you want to undo. Grab it and there's one little trim clip holding it up here. You just grab it and pull, it'll pop off. And it's just wrapped around the, um, the outside. So you just gotta pop him off. So I'll grab these, put them under, get them right under the screw, and they'll pop out. Grab this guy, pull him out, pretty easy. And now get your wire, feed him under the carpet. You can pick up the carpet by those trim pieces, pull this guy off, and start feeding him under. I like to find a, a cable that's already running through and just follow the same path as him. So this V-pillar trim has got two screws down the bottom and the rest is held in by clips. You wanna grab as close to the pins as you can feel. You don't want to flex the plastic or else you'll break pins. You just make your way down, popping out the clips. So now we want to feed the cable up in here, out through the grommet and in through the next grommet. So you do have to pop the grommets out, they're pretty easy. Um, you can just do that with your hands, you don't need a special tool. You can use a screwdriver if you want, but you should be able to do it just with your fingers. You can see him starting to come out, and now he's out. So you do need to clean up a little bit of electrical wire to feed it through the grommet. Um, but other than that, I didn't attach it to the grommet. I just had it running through it and left it separate from the other wires. We've fed our wire through, this is it here. Um, you wanna make sure that you've got ample amount of wire. It's better to have more than less. You can see the little wire there running through the grommet. That grommet's not in the door. This grommet is in the door, it all looks pretty tidy. Um, I'm not even gonna tape him up, he should be all right um, as he is. We've got him coming out the B pillar, down to the carpet. Gonna run him under the carpet there. If he comes out the front, here he is going along the carpet, he ducks under, comes back out, here's all the carpet pulled up. He runs up into the dash up there, up the dash and then there's my radio. So it's all sorted now. Just got to do some wiring. I actually found a trick for mounting these. So if you put them like that, you can actually get one, two, three screws in and it's pretty solid because this is 
This is your door frame, not the door card, so they'll hold up pretty good. You just want to leave enough space that these guys are still somewhat free to move, but you still need to get this bolt in here. So now what I did is I actually used these little clips. Um, as your holes are too far away from the edge, I just grabbed them, banded them open like that. And you grab them, put them around the trim, find where the hole lines up and just put them around like that. So I'm using these, which are crimp connectors with heat shrink. So you just put them on like a normal crimp connector. And grab them. So now we're all sorted, we've got power coming out to the back. Now we just want to get our speaker, get him in position like that. We'll put some screws through. So all I'm doing now is taping up my spare wire and tucking it away so that if I ever want to pull these speakers out, I can. I've got plenty of wire to do it. I'm just going to wire him up, up here so he's out of the way of the window slider as much as he can be. So now we've got the speaker mounted, all powered up, ready to go. We can put our trim back on, or our door card. We can hook him on at the top. Now he's in. Pull your window motor, or your windows cable through. And then you can go around and just hear him click. And that card is back on. So as a tip for anyone who's big on sound in their car, if you're doing this in your Navara, I would definitely suggest a bit of sound deadening and putting it in the doors, um, just because there's a lot of vibration in them. But personally, I didn't worry about that because I just wanted a bit more of a surround sound in my car. So that's pretty much it. Once all the trim's back in, you're finished. Um, I would definitely suggest doing this for such a cheap um, modification. It really does make driving a lot nicer having a decent sound system in there um, especially if you haven't previously upgraded the front speakers um, so that's pretty well it thanks for watching um, any tips or suggestions leave them in the comments cheers